So in the previous video, we started talking about the layer panel, how to create a new layer, delete a layer, how to make um, the layer current by just clicking on that and clicking this tick sign. Now I'm going to start talking about these tools that you see all the way on the top. They are pretty much similar to the ones that you see over here, okay? But let's go and start working with these right now going to close this now the first one that we saw was the layer properties manager you just click on it and this window pops up we already start working with that the second one is making object layer current for instance right now my current layer is windows but I want to continue working with the door layer so how would I make the door layer current because if I start drawing something right now it makes this line which is from that layer so to just switch which layer you're working with all you have to do is select the layer that you wanna make current and just click on that so now the door layer sticks so if I make a line see, that's from the door layer I could do that with any layer that you see over here I could do it with the wall layer click on that and my wall layer stays current so pretty handy tool you would be using this quite a bit so make sure you learn uh, how to make the object layer current now let's jump to the third one the third one also uh, is a handy tool which helps you match the layers not only the color but even the layer properties like for instance if I want to change this layer which is furniture to the plant layer all I will be doing is going match and click on my plant layer you see that it changed to the plant layer this is my furniture layer and now this got turned into a plant layer so basically what it does it takes everything from this plant layer and matches to the layer so it will have the same color it would have the same layer name it would have the same line type and everything that is associated with this layer now for instance if I want to change this layer to this one right all I have to do is go click on match layer and click on that you see what happened over here so this thing got updated to that layer which obviously I don't want so I'm gonna go control Z and go one step back let's go to the fourth one now what this does is undo the last change or set of changes made to your layer so if I click on that it changes the last state of the layers that I have changed but really I'm not gonna click on that right now I'm just gonna leave it as it is but basically that goes back with the previous layer changes that you have made let's jump to the next one it's called an isolate layer now what isolate layer does is basically I can have only one layer on and either freeze or hide rest of all the layers that you see or lock them for instance if I'm working with the wall layer and what's doing is I don't want any of these layers shown up here all I want to do is work with the wall layer so I will be going into into here which is isolate if you look down here it even shows you the typing command or a lisp command that you could use and it's called l-a-y-i-s-o so i could type that as well l-a-y-i-s-o standing for layer isolate i'll hit enter now it says select object on the layers to be isolated now I want my wall layer to be isolated from the rest of the drawing so I will click on that and hit enter you see what happened over there everything else disappeared now the only thing that I see is the wall layer and I can conveniently go and work on these layers without causing confusions now when I'm done working on my isolate layer I can always bring back the layers again by doing by clicking that it's called unisolate I just click that and all my layers are back up again so how to do it again 
just click on the layer isolate click on the layer you want to keep and hit spacebar or enter now all we are left is with the furniture layer I don't see no walls or anything and I could always go and modify it move it and when my job is done all I have to do is click the unisolate layer so everything comes back up so you would be using this tool quite a bit as well because the AutoCAD drawings when you start working in construction or some really detailed drawings you will have to isolate layers so it makes it easy for you to work on with now the next one that we see over here is the freeze layer now the freeze and the off layer works pretty much similarly but the only difference between freeze and off is when I turn a layer off it just makes it disappear from the screen but uh, if I'm editing in the future as in I erase a lot of stuff from my screen there's a big chance the one that I turn off would get erased as well but what happens with the freeze command is it turns it off from the layer as well as from the screen and there's no way that by mistake I could erase it or modify it or delete it now let's see how these work for instance I go on my layer off I will click on the door layer right now because that's what I want to turn off all the doors disappear okay but they are still somewhere on the screen only thing I cannot view it so I'm gonna go control uh, just control Z I bring the door layer back now let's see how the freeze works when I click on it I hit the door layer see what happens looks like it does exactly the same thing where your drawing of the door has disappeared now this has disappeared from the drawing as well as there's no way that you could modify this by any chance because it has even disappeared from your uh, screen even though it's hidden you cannot modify it now if I go in my layer panel you see the door layer has the freeze icon on I can click on it so basically I unfroze it and it pops up back again if I do the same thing over here but instead of freezing I'm just turning it off again it disappears click on it it comes back up now what I will do is try to see if these layers disappear when I froze it or turn it off for that I have to start a new little exercise which will make it clear so I will go file new and again I'll use some template maybe I'll use an architectural template hit open continue model space if you see it's a template so it comes with all these uh, what do you call it all these layers so I'm gonna go in a window layer draw uh, something use the rectangle I draw a rectangle go in another layer draw another rectangle go in the third layer which is the reference draw another rectangle and the last one I would take is the text layer draw another rectangle okay so now let's see if I turn it off what happens for instance I'm going to click on the off layer and I'm turning off this layer and I turn off that layer okay so my turning off the layer is done so now if I were to delete maybe my whole screen technically only these two should be deleted right because these two have disappeared already so I'm going to try using the erase command and when I select object I type a l l as in all and hit enter now objects are selected hit enter they are gone okay but you saw I just deleted two squares so the ones that I 
turned off before shouldn't be deleted okay but I'm going to go here and see I'll turn off those layers which I turn turn on turn on and close it do you see it over here no what happened so what happened was the layers even though they were hidden they got deleted now let's go do the same thing but instead of hiding these two I'm going to freeze these two so use the freeze command click on that and click on this so currently I have two lowers, layers frozen and two layers active I'm going to use the same exact command as in I want to delete everything that's there on my screen so I do erase E enter select objects I'm going to type A L L for selecting everything and hit enter and hit enter so now what happened was the ones that I selected got deleted even though I selected the whole screen right so but let's see if my two frozen items have deleted or if they are still there going to go in my layer manager now the two frozen objects were these I click on that and I click on this one close this you see what happened so these two layers were frozen so they never got deleted but if I would have I would have turned the layer off on these two objects even though I didn't see them on the screen the computer still knows that they are there and it deletes it or modifies it only if I froze it then it wouldn't select it and wouldn't delete it and wouldn't modify it so that's the difference between freeze and off uh, I hope you understand how the different work if you don't then go back on my video and try watching this last few minutes a couple times then you would understand the exact difference of what the freeze does and of what the turning off does most of the time you should be using the freeze layer instead of turning off the layer because once you turn off you don't know if it's going to get modified if you do any changes in your drawing okay so that was about the layer panel there's one last thing I can show you real quick is I'm gonna go back to the same drawing and I will go back to my layer properties manager and in here the last one was the lock command now what the lock does is I'm going to select a layer maybe this time I'm selecting the walls layer okay right now you see it's unlocked if I click on it you see the lock symbol over there and I close my drawing sorry my layer panel and when I move my mouse on my wall layer you see that little lock that pops up that means I cannot select the walls and I can select it but I cannot modify it I cannot erase it right I cannot erase it can I move it I don't think so select the object see it doesn't even let me select it so locking the layer helps me prevent from modifying or moving any layer which is already locked okay so if I were to erase this much section see I cannot erase it I cannot erase my walls why because they are locked so you would be using this once in a while as well so it's always good to know how to even lock a layer now I want to unlock that layer I can always go in my layer panel and all I have to do is click on that so this makes life a lot more easier locking the layer freezing the layer turning off the layer okay again a reminder if you ever want to turn off a layer don't use this one you're always going to use the freeze why would you use the freeze It's because it turns it off from the screen as well as from the layer but if you use this one it just turns it off from your screen but at the same time if you try to modify something uh, it will modify it okay so I hope you understood this tutorial if you have any questions again as usual uh, leave me a message and ask me and I will be glad to answer okay thank you and good night